Shout out to Mika and I am back, Jack. Family, what it do? It's your girl 2D2, and I am back with another video. Shout out to my family. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming back and tuning in. Listen, like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's all you got to do. Now smash it. I'm on the road to 100K, and I need your help, no cap. Now look, we finna jump right into this video. Uh, Damn, man. My boy Corey, shout it. Just stay off the internet, my boy. Stay off the internet. Now look, we already know the ride, the highs and the lows that has went on between Carmen and Corey, and we all know that they are no longer together. But something that just transpired, you know what I'm saying, had everybody in the whole internet in an uproar. Now listen, you guys, you know what I'm saying, there's going to be certain etiquettes that Carmen is going to have to have with Corey, just because he is the father of her kids. So she's going to have to have some type of relationship with him. Now I don't have to be, you know what I'm saying, like walks in the park and things like that, but there's nothing wrong with with her wanting her kids to be able to see that dynamic between them both, okay? Now, they were at a function, and everybody was in the uproar. Oh, my God, she took him back. She's weak. She this. He went to the internet, and he said this. God sent these two brothers my way Saturday. Um, Bill with Aunt and uh, Live Through Steve. They said I should come to their church Sunday, for it would be powerful. In seven years of being married, me and my wife never been to church together. Now that is something that I feel like probably was missing from their relationship. I decided to take her to church and it's no coincidence that the service was about maturing us and marriages. God for sure was talking to us. We both couldn't fight back the tears as the words he was saying was touching us. Then he said, me and my wife had private conversations face to face about our marriage and what took place over the last six months on the 17th and been working on our marriage and bond since then. We both has grew and changed. Now, <laughs> Corey be so quick to run to the internet, man. But hold on, let's finish. He said, now we understand we have supporters and haters and fans. But let me say this. We owe nobody no explanation when it comes to something God put together. We stopped coming to the internet and went to Jesus to help us. And he did that. We owe no human explanations on opinions y'all have about our marriage as we growing as adults. People hate and that's okay. But when God has the last to say, who the F are you? For all my godly people and spiritual beings, stay prayed up as the devil continue to work, I mean, to try to tear, uh, tear up families. Call on Jesus and let him work your problems out. Don't look for humans to do what Jesus was sent to do, as you would never find clarity. Thank you again. Thank you again, Bill with Ant, and live through Steve for the invite. We're going to let God continue to do his big one. Now, listen, in a lot of cases, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're going to be consistent with that, you know what I mean? It just seems like he had one church, one sermon. And he was a changed man. However, I was, you know what I'm saying, happy to see that he know that he made mistakes. But I do not think they should be together right now. That's just what I got to say about it. You know what I'm saying? My personal opinion. Now, this is what uh, Carmen had to say. Let's listen. I don't need to explain myself. But I know this situation should take three back. Just to be on here and, like, explain myself. But at the same time, I feel like I don't need to explain myself. But I know this situation just look, like, so all over the place. And, yeah, just wondering, like, oh, well, Carmen, what happened? Like, this and the third, yeah, has so much to say. Like, you got people that like it. You got people that don't like it. For one, let's please keep in mind, this man's still the father of my kids, regardless. Every time y'all heard me saying, like, oh, will you go back to your ex? Or will you talk to your ex? And this and the third. Like, it's not about that. You know what I mean? It's not about, if y'all see me in the room with him, it's like, oh, we just, I love you, W again, or we are back, cool. Like, me and Corey had conversations privately before it was fucking even spotted publicly. But the conversation was more so of stand, like learning and understanding where we stand with each other and more of so like the damage that was caused in all these five months. So it's not an easy situation for me. Now drop it down in the comments. I mean, do you feel like it was any truth to what she was saying? I thought she was cooking. Um, let's finish. To even speak on and trying to address something when I know that your guy is going to already have your own assumptions or your own, you know, opinions about it. Because it does look bad. It does look like, oh, this is what it is. But you're telling that this is not what it's not. Whatever the case may be. 
But I'm not going to sit here and tell you all y'all not going to see me in the room with this man. I can't say that. You know what I mean? Like, we got kids together. Our kids not even teenagers yet. So it's like, y'all going to see me and him in the same room. Do I rather just be mature or just be cordial with the father of my kids instead of, you know, holding grudges or have hate or being like, I can't even stand this man or I just need like a third person in between so he can see the kids or whatever? Absolutely not. Like, I would rather to just be cordial with this man knowing that if anything happened with the kids, that's the person I have to call. You know what I mean? Like, this is the father of my kids regardless of where the situation is, how things went down, or where we done said, and whatever, whatever. So it's like, I don't have the energy to really explain, oh, well, this was what's really happened. This was now, I don't know what the good Lord might have said to Corey that Sunday. But what I will say is whatever he said to him, he did not say to her because they're on different pages. You feel what I'm saying? It was just a month ago when he was uh, chilling with Carmen 2.0 and saying some very, very hurtful things, you know what I'm saying, about his ex-wife that he now referred to as his wife. I mean, I don't understand what's going on. Now, Michi, you know what I'm saying, is supposed to be the new boo thing of, of, of Carmen. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? They look really, really good together. I think this is a completely different type of person that she's been used to dating in seven years. I mean, for seven years, I think different sometimes is good. Now, Carmen went uh, and did an interview with Tasha K. And she said this. Now, listen. What's up? I know you ain't got to do this, but here's where, here's where it comes in at. And I was like, she's like, I got a new man. And I was like, who's the man? Plot twist, you. I had no clue. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I need you to come sit down, brother. Proposing to That's what he said. He said he was getting his wife back. They were gonna be a family again. He was in <laughs> Miami. He was changing his life. That's no good. That's what he said. We. <laughs> I, I need you to come to to Fort Lauderdale. Can you come, can you get here by next uh, Tuesday? You gotta, you gotta yeah. You, you gotta just send the dates because I just started just acting. I just started just play. That I that I've been. Uh, you can come in out. You can come in and out same so, day. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give Carmen my email. Now, it seems like to me that Michi might have made it out of that friend zone. You feel what I mean? Because it seems like right here, it's getting hot and heavy. Now, after Corey put his post on IG, you know what I'm saying? My boy Michi came and dropped this. Well, I need no pills. You feel me? What's so good? What's up? You're lying, too. I want to know, drop it down in the comment section. Do you think that Michi has a really good chance, you know what I'm saying, of making something real with Carmen? Do you think that it's too soon for Carmen to be involved with Michi right now? I want to know, drop it down below. I mean, sometimes you got to give her a little grace. It takes a little while for a woman to get sick and tired. And I think at this point, she might just be sick and tired. You know what I mean? It was a lot of things that I feel like Corey might have said that I just don't think you can go back from. But you never really know. You know what I mean? You never know. You can't put it past nobody these days in love. I want to know, though. Drop it down in the comments. I love y'all family. And until the next video, I'm going to catch y'all. Peace. Family. What it do? It's your girl Tamika and I am back, Jack.